All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place our robots about uh, 10 feet or so before the medical kit about where I'm standing. And you'll drive to it, open loop, remote control. You'll pick it up and then essentially follow the curved line around these obstacles. Uh, this black line is, is meant for, light, for, for a um, uh, tracking unit, light tracking unit. But as far as you're concerned, you're just driving around. There are bumps and obstacles in the way. Uh, just don't hit the cones. You don't want to hit the cones. Anything else is fine. You can hit it, you can drive over it, you can drag it, no problem. So the black line is your guidance through the obstacle course. So I'm just walking around it and filming. Uh, you'll see we just scattered a bunch of junk. There's a book by Shigley. You can deal with that as you please. That's an obstacle. You can hit it or drag it or whatever. Um, and at this point, what you'll do is you'll come up to and approach the wall and stop within the three-foot box. Okay, so there's a three-foot stopping box. At that point, we'd like you to give an autonomous command to the robot to go over the wall. If you need to, you can reposition the robot before the wall. But ideally, you'll just say, go autonomous. You'll breach the wall. And at that point, again, in an ideal, in an ideal world, the ideal world being located in Princeton, where we stand, uh, you'll continue on to the chute. Uh, if you need to reposition the robot, that's fine. Once you've stopped within the three-foot box after the, after the wall. So then what we'll do is we'll just go through the chute, or the robot will, autonomously, obviously. Uh, exiting the chute, you will then acquire the light turning around, and the light is going to be on the box all the way over there. It should be bright enough to give you a strong signal, and you'll go up to the box and not step on the computer here, but autonomously deposit the medical kit into the goal. Okay, please announce the name of your team, your robot, and your names. Team Poseidon, and our robot's all home in Poseidon. Robert. Um, I'm Robert. <laughs> I'm Solid. Barrett. Scott. Katie. Quick. Maya. Two, one, go. Robot's name is Hilux. Hilux and Hilux. Good luck, Hilux. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. 
And the robot again is Flashbot. Flashbot. Good luck, Flashbot. All right. On my mark, and three, two, one, go. It's still autonomous. All right, beautiful. Still autonomous? Still autonomous. Oh, we got it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. all right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we are Team Hell Hell. This is Cerberus, and we are Casey, Jennifer, Ben, Nigel, Ian, Dennis, Baby. On my mark, three, two, one, go. And done. And uh, we have we can make the uh, hook go up or down. Uh, the stiffness of the cable that was pushing the hook up. Then we can you know control the angle, engage, engage the bar, pull ourselves up. Uh, hopefully engage angle control to tilt ourselves down. The center of mass will then be forward and downward of the ledge of the wall, and then we can just. Two, one, go. Yeah. 